sent out a press release saying that they do not think that this explosion has been caused by a downed plane. The duty managers at Oakland International Airport as well as SFO have no missing planes that they can speak of. They also do not believe this is a downed plane. We have spoken to eyewitnesses who say they have heard sounds. They live in the flight path of SFO. Um, that they heard unusual sounds, and but we have not talked to anybody yet who saw a plane go into the ground. So we just want to really um, share this skepticism with you because we don't want to have um, unconfirmed reports that this might be a natural gas line. And PG&E has told us it cannot confirm that this is any type of a PG&E line. But Ken Bastida back in the newsroom, and what do you got, Ken? Yeah, that's right, Alan. Uh, PG&E uh, just saying that they're, they're investigating at this point. Uh, they obviously have word of what's going on, and, they, and they've got people down there trying to figure out exactly whose line this is and what is this, is, if it is a, a utility line that's been ruptured. Uh, what we have is um, word from SFO, specifically Flight Tracker, that SFO is functioning normally. Flights are coming and going normally. There are no delays uh, reported associated with this. And once again, just to reiterate what the FAA told us earlier, uh, they are missing no planes at this time. They do not believe that the explosion was caused by an aircraft. So we're beginning to kind of narrow this thing down to um, you know, possibly a utility pipeline problem, um, although that has not been confirmed by anybody right now. There are, again, a lot of companies in the Bay Area, Kinder Morgan, there's PG&E, there are a lot of private companies uh, that run utility lines and gas lines under residential areas, along freeways, all over Northern California. What touched this off is really still the mystery, and what is burning, what's continuing to come out, He's really uh, still unknown at this point, and we're working on trying to find out, out for you. Okay, and when you look at the source of this, Ken, as we talked about before, the high pressure, it's just, it's coming out of there, you know, kind of like the pressure that we saw with the, uh, the the oil spill in the Gulf, the way that was coming out of there uncontrolled. Yeah, somewhat similar. Um, and, you know, Alan, you've covered them, I've covered them, Dan, I'm sure you've been there when, when uh, natural gas lines have been ruptured, and there is a roar that is not unlike a jet engine. I mean, it's a, it's a scream under pressure um, uh, material that is coming out, and it can sound like a jet to people. We have reports that people said, I heard something that sounded like a